Macho man. Great to see you, man. We are at Huggos. Breakfast with Bob, triathlete.com. Our next guest, two-time Ford Ironman world champion, Mr. Norman Stadler. Woo! Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Hi. Great to see you. Thank you. So, Norman, this uh, last couple months has been life-altering, to say the least. What? Were you just not feeling well this summer? What, uh, what led you to go to the doctors? No, I was fine this summer, but we did a little training camp in my hometown with my team and uh, we did some swim tests and uh, cycling tests. Like, yeah, we did 70K on a bike yeah. and I felt not like... Not like Norman Stadler. Not like me, yeah. <laughs> my guys dropped me. Uh, I stopped and I swim the same after 50 meters. I couldn't breathe and... Uh, so I thought, let's go to the doctor and make it, like a blood check. Yeah. And uh, the doctor said, come on, let's make an ultrasound too. And like a quick checkup. Yeah. And uh, then they saw the, yeah, the mess. And what was the mess? The mess was my aortic valve was open. And uh, it's like category three. Uh, was really bad and my, the aorta yeah. was uh, seven centimeters. And it's usually it's uh, two and a half centimeters. So it was, it was bulging. Blown up like a balloon. So the, the blood was flowing everywhere. Yeah, yeah. Wow. And so you weren't back getting... Back and forth and back and forth. So it was swishing back and forth yeah, and you weren't yeah, getting yeah. the blood Enough you edge. needed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And when they diagnosed that, was it immediate surgery? Uh, uh, two days later. Two days later. Yeah, yeah. So it was, yeah. I had to do some things at home. Paperwork. Like, like what type of paperwork? Yeah, I wrote my last will and uh, like we have something in Germany that my wife can turn off the... Basically life. turn off life support. Yeah, life support, yeah. So, so you had to sign the papers for that, yeah, yeah. talk to your parents yeah. and basic, basically say goodbye to everyone. Yeah. And you're yeah, a, and you're and a young father. And I to build a house, so right. I canceled the, the contractor's uh, right. contract and everything and uh, yeah, everything in two days. So you're not only forgetting about your career, you don't know in two days with the surgery if you're going to come out of it and be alive. Oh, how, how I come out of how it. How did it come out of yeah, it? Yeah. And did the doctors, were they confident? Did they feel that they could do a great job? Or what, what was the what Yes, was, what I, was I, the good thing is I, I had one of the best doctors in Germany. Okay. So he's known for this kind of problems to fix. And, uh, and he was a former uh, 800 meter runner. Okay, so, so he, he did a 150 athletes. for 800 meters and he knew who I am. Right and uh, what's the problem and uh, but yeah they also tell you if shit sorry if mm, happens <laughs> <laughs> you can die or you can be like handicapped or yeah. yeah and when uh, and this isn't arthroscopic they open you up yeah yeah when, how long before you came out of the uh, anesthetic uh, you mean the surgery was yeah. five and a half hours yeah and I, I slept one day one after. full day yeah and when you came to, what did they tell you? Uh, the first thing is I, I listened into my body because they told me they can't tell me now before the surgery if I get a new aortic valve right. or my own. So they fixed my own and I, I was listening to the, if there's a noise, like a tick, 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 because you, you hear the, right. the valve if you get a new one. And uh, it was mine, so I was really happy about that because then you don't have to take the, the big medicine. Right. And uh, so I'm, I'm fine, yeah. How old is your little boy? Uh, two years and three months. And this must have been so scary for you because you're a young parent, you yeah. get a young child, yeah. two and a half year old, you don't know if you're gonna come out of this surgery yeah. and see your baby. You're, and you've and got the, another one on the way. And the thing is, he will forget you. If right. you die, or if, if you don't come home, right. he will forget you because he's two years old and he's... Yes. Yeah, that's, that's a fact and... Uh, yeah, it was bad that the, another one is coming in December. You have another little boy coming. So my wife is eight months pregnant now, and uh, we got this diagnosis, and it was really bad, yeah, because it's, yeah. Now, leading into this, you had a couple of races. Yeah. And you had mechanicals in both races. Yeah. And didn't run. So one, you had a flat, and I think the other, you had a derailleur issue. Yeah. And didn't run in either one. Yeah. Did the doctors feel that if you did run, yeah. you might have died? Yeah. Yeah. You could have collapsed out in the middle of yes. nowhere. Yeah. It, if this will blow up, you die immediately. The other side of this is, 
it must make you feel, I'm sure you've been feeling this for a couple of years where you haven't felt quite right. Do you, now it gives you a, a, an understanding of what was going on in your body. Maybe, but you know the, the checkups before, they were fine. Yeah. So I had an uh, like a uh, grade one aortic uh, insufficiency, like yes. a little little bit little uh, problem. open aortic valve. But they told me every professional athlete, if you if they look, they found something. Right. So, but my aorta was okay, and uh, yeah. But I thought it's maybe I'm 38. I'm getting older. Yeah. A little bit more tired after all those big sessions. Right. But I never thought that I will have a heart problem, but. Now I get so many emails from athletes over the world with heart the same issues. problems or rhythm problems and yeah. uh, heart valve problems. So it's not only me. So. You look at life differently now? For sure. Yeah. How? how? How is Norman different today than you were three I'm months ago? I'm more relaxed. Over the past year I was also more relaxed, but now I'm, you know, I'm still here. Right. And uh, I have a great family. I achieved everything in the sport. I won two titles here and I won another world champ in uh, duathlon. Yes. And uh, I think I'm one of the oldest guys here and uh, in triathlon for 23 years now. So it's fine and uh, I will support my team. Now, are you back running a little bit, riding a little? What, what, what can you do and can't you do moving forward? Everything. They, they fixed my heart. So the doctors say I'm, I'm better than before because now my heart is working well. Nice. And uh, I could do professional sport again, but when I start training, it's, I'm 39, and when I come back, I'm 40. And I know it's not possible to come back this strong because my expectations are so high. Your expectations are expectations so high. Expectations are yeah. high. So, but I will do sport. I do like five to seven, eight k a day on running. Yeah. I did a one k swim in the morning here in the in the in the ocean. And I can ride my bike, so I can do everything I like, and uh, but not on a professional level. And I can, could, but I. You don't want it. Mentally, I'm I'm not. You're done. Ready for, yeah. You're a dad. Back. I'm I'm a dad, but not dad. <laughs> <laughs> well, Norman, we're very happy that you're that one. The doctor spotted this, and yeah, yeah. Uh, that you're back healthy and happy and yeah. getting ready for your second little boy to be born. Yeah. Norman Stadler has been our guest. Thank you. Your new birthday is July 4th? Yes. That's when the surgery was? Yes. That's great. Norman Stadler has been our guest on Breakfast with Bob. Triathlete.com. And of course, we're thrown out to the one and only Pancho Man. Big Island surfing. Oh, oh, oh. Big Island surfing. Breakfast with Bob. Hey guys. I'm jealous. <laughs> See? I can't blame you that.